got my meter handy so we can measure the resistors. Although that meter has been playing up a bit lately, so it may not be the perfect way of doing it. So what have we got? That looks like red, red, red. Quite a selection of resistors. That's a bit of a pain. It's easier when they're all the same. point 10k a diode 10k 10k diode 10k 2 .2, 4.7 10 4.7 4.7 2.2 4.7 470 2.2 1k so how many 10Ks was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 10Ks, have we got 4 of anything? Got 5, count them again. One, two, three, four, five, five ten Ks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's a good chance that that little pack of five is going to be ten K. And reading it that way round, brown is one, black is zero. And orange is three more zeros, so that would be 10k. So I reckon we can put those in. Five 10k resistors all in place. Fan on, blow the fumes away. but they'll do. Next, what can we look for? We've got two 2.2k, 2.2, 2.2, 2.3, 2.2s, that's more like it. I think red is two. next. There's two of them, so what might they be? We've got 470, 47, 4.7, 4 470, 4.7. I'll have to measure them. They're 4.7. Should have two 470s. I don't see them. That one's 1k. That one's 470. I've just reread it. That one's 470 ohms. 47k, 
470k. So I just measured that one. Yeah, that's the one that's 470k. That one's 470 ohms. Just check that again. Yeah, that one's 470 ohms. It's all the resistors. Let's have a look at these transistors and see what they are. I've checked them, they're all S9013. So we should be able to put them all straight in. Let's tidy these up. Capacitor 103, capacitor 104. That's 103. 104. Got to be some more 104s, surely. Oh, yeah. Those two. I say my eyesight's getting worse. I'm struggling to see some of this now. 47 microfarad. Plus is the longer leg. So in there. One microfarad. That's that one. Plus is the longer leg. What's left? A couple of diodes, speaker, LED. Diodes, black end to where the mark shows it on the picture. Jumper, we need a bit of wire. Now that I've just thrown them all away, I'll do that in a minute. Microphone, that's got a positive and a minus. Just have to salvage a bit of wire out of the bin for the jumper. I can't see that that does anything. I'll leave it as a loop so I can cut it if I need to. Well, that's it. It says 5 volt supply. Well, that threw me for a minute. I put the power on there and nothing happened. So I've taken that J1 out and now it works as a clap switch. So, there we go, job done. I'll have to have a look, see if there is anything that explains what J1 is for. I suspect you can take it away to operate something else. Maybe a relay or something. Because then you can make use of this. Instead of it just turning an LED on, you can actually get it to turn a motor on and off. But it works. Job done.